Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anil and in this React Material UI video tutorial, we will learn about the checkbox, how we can use it and how we can use the event and how we can change the values and all. So these are the points of video. First of all, we will import the checkbox, then we will fill the colors in it, then we will use the intermittent property. And if you don't know about the intermittent property, then don't worry, this is uh, excited for you. And basically this is a simply one line property, but very important property right then uh, we will see that how we can use the on change event you can use the other events also like click event on click event then uh, on focus blur etc but on change is mostly used with the checkboxes that's why we will use the uh, on change event then how we can get the value from the multiple checkboxes we will see and we will use a state with it then uh, how we can change the custom how we can use the custom icons with the checkboxes and all right so let's say you on the tick mark place you just want to use any heart button and any other buttons and some image and all then how we can use it so now let's get started so i am just going to jump on app.js file and first of all let's uh, import the checkboxes and for your information we can use we can import the checkboxes in a two way so just use the both of them I will show you both of them so just use here something from and just write here your package name at the rate material core and uh, here you can just sim uh, simply use uh, checkboxes so just write here checkbox right this is the first way and there is another way also uh, you don't need to you can just import it uh, uh, like uh, default export and just use here directly uh, core JS and checkbox file right and now let's use it here like this oh my bad checkbox and for default level this is very easy to use you can see that we got the checkbox here we can uncheck and check it and it just have the very uh, faded animation and it's look very nice right you can see that it and now let's see that how we can update the color of it so here you can use the color property and you can use any color like uh, you just want to use the default color then you will get it uh, default layout of it and even you can use it the secondary also so just simply use the secondary one then you will just get it the pink right you can use the prime also primary also and you will get here blue color now perfect that's great so now let's see that how we can use an event on it so first of all uh, let's define on change event and here we can call any function let's say my function name is get value why i'm putting it the get value because i will use this function for get the value what the hell is that get value right okay that's okay and now just define it like you can define with the const or you can define the normal function just use here get value and uh, you can just simply use it an arrow function here and let's make a console here console dot warn and just put here function called right now whenever we will change this value that means we will make it true and false then this function is called perfect great uh, okay so but let's say i have a value of it like uh, value and value have some name like anil which is my name uh, then how can i get get this name right so for that we have to use the event so just write here pass here event you can put any name of event xyz i just usually put here event e because this is the first character of event right then just use here event like here and now just write here e dot target when you put the e dot target then you will find that you get a complete tag here right 
yep and uh, you can see that is uh, it will just show the data interminate also which is the internal property of it we cannot see this property direct directly right and uh, then put here value and if you just put the value here then you will able to get this value you can see that we got the value anil that's great right so that's okay we got the value of first one so let's say we have uh, some more checkboxes like multiple checkboxes how we can get the value of them let's say peter and bruce and all right now what actually happened when you just click on the latest one you will get only the latest value in your uh, this console because there is a this function is called every time that's why the old value is erased and next value is come how we can store the previous value also then we can use the choose state so just simply take const destruct the state like uh, name as well as set name right and just use here use effect or uh, use state and default value can be a blank array perfect now let's take this state in a normal variable like data like this and now just push here use here data dot push and what do you have to push here e dot target dot value right why we did not push this value directly in the name because name is basically a state and we should not uh, update this state like this we always update this state with of with the help of set name right and uh, after that you can just simply uh, use here set name and just simply put here data right and uh, if you just want to check here name then that's okay you can also print here uh, okay um let me check what's wrong with it yeah that's my bad i actually used this uh, um, state outside to the function which is pretty not possible so now this is like this so now just you can see that we got the value here like this right so that's all that how we can just get the multiple values here and uh, yes one more thing uh, how we can just put here uh, interminent property we actually forgot to use it so so we can just take uh, one more checkbox here let's make it copy and paste and just write here any property like xyz and just put here interminent right and whenever whenever you, you will use it then you can see that uh, it will have a normal dash as compared to the other like they have the checkbox completely with a tick and it don't have any tick right and now let's say you just want to change the complete icon that how you can do it so let's make it one more and for that we need the icons also so just write here import something from material checkboxes and uh, favorite right and just put here favorite similarly you can just put one more icon which is unfav uh, favorite border like this so now we have to use the both of icons with the place of uh, checked and unchecked so uh, just use the property like uh, we don't need these properties we can remove so that we can have just more space just use here icon and uh, icon can have uh, this icon directly like uh, favorite border right like this and another one we have another one property which is uh, checked icon and here we can simply use here favorite like this right and let's make it close close here so now you can see that we are able to use the normal icon so that 
this is the way that how we can use uh, uh, different icon and how we can use the how we can get the value of the multiple checkboxes and all if you still have any kind of confusion you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel and like this video